Benbot or Benbot or Truth Realm. And welcome back, everybody. It's March 25th. We're on Gordok. Operation Fishhook is the event. My name's Muff Bandit. I'm here with Xbit. He is my number two. What's up, Xbit? Just looking forward to round two. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. All right. It will be. It will be real interesting. We're going to make our way. Uh, this is Squad Ops, by the way. We focus around a one life event. So once you're dead, you're done. Medics, you can see they are here, but they cannot actually revive you. Once you're down, you're done. What do we got? Operation Fishhook on Gordok. We'll go over this again. You can. You can follow along on my map. I think it's on me. Anyway, Russia and Militia both started their mains. I'm going to be following Russia this time. I followed main uh, Militia last time. What's going on is Russia has a four-man team, which is recruits only. They get only the recruit kits. We'll call them the recruits or the counter intel team. But they are going to be isolated in Foxtrot and Golf keypad or Foxtrot and Golf six and seven. So giant grid squares, four big old grid squares. And they're going to be stuck there at the beginning. They cannot leave those grid squares until other Russian forces come to rescue them. In the meantime, Militia is going to come from Maine and try to kill them. Or at least stop them from getting away. So if they can get across the bridge and hold them up, they will. couple more main points. All assets and units must cross the river using bridges. So there's a bridge up here in Hotel 2. Pick a point is going to be another bridge, Golf 6, on the road, on that new another bridge, market. Foxtrot 7. So, so two bridges in the little that. recruit but squad area, which is just yeah, awesome. So they get two bridges to cross through and work with and all that. I don't think there's any more bridges down here, which keeps it interesting. It makes the bridges matter. It makes you have to act fast in the beginning. The rest of the infantry right there. I'm gonna Let's see here. That's about it. I don't know. If you guys have any more questions concerning the op, you can ask them in the chat. And with that, I'm going to send it over to Xbit. He's going to tell you what the militia are going to be assaulting with. They're going to be trying to kill all the Russians. What are they, what are they going to be bringing, Xbit? Well, each squad gets two AR, one lat, a scout, a medic. Um, they also get two of those... Uh, MPLBs that with the NSVs on them, a Tekka, a Techie with the Dishka, and a SPG with the, uh, you know, the Techie SPG. Perfect. It sounds sounds like their plan is to take the entire platoon north to the North Bridge, cross over, and then uh, push into the Xville location. So far. You know that's interesting that that that's their plan because that's kind of what happened last time, and the militia didn't actually win by doing that. And they were fairly successful with it. So we'll see. Yes. That's pretty good. Yeah, this ops kind of changed when it's been updated. It used to be that uh, you know Russia would try to go across the river or wait till the recruits exfiled across the bridge or something. But now it sounds like this militia is just going to go to the exfil location every time. So we'll see what happens, how it evolves here. Well, and I heard Hammering Hutch talk about how he was updating this operation for D9. Just begin assaulting and the big thing the to him, which has actually made it really cool, he made the vehicles the same. You know, two MTLBs for both squads. So no BTRs, none of that. Keep the vehicles the same. And actually give, he gave the militia a little bit better opportunity. But still, Russia has won every single one so far. Yeah. So it's really cool, especially when it's Russia that has to evacuate the troops you know they have to go in and get them out or what what happened in one of them where russia won was russia went in and they got wiped but they still had some of the recruits left so they sent another squad in and that squad got close but eventually lost everybody and i think they maybe saved one guy but they were able to get back out of there having taken major casualties and actually got back and were able to support it uh, and and defend it yeah, that was commanded so that was really cool. on that one. Yeah, that was that was an interesting engagement too. 
Yeah, that was. Uh, with Squad 3 mounted in it. So that that's really cool. It's really awesome to watch, especially when uh, Militia gets in there and takes the advantage. I'll go over what Russia's going to be kind of defending with or trying to rescue with, I suppose. Uh, first of all, they got their four recruits. Let's see if I got that squad on here. Counter intel right there. Nasty Nate, Alpaca B, Masonic Holmes, and Musket. So those four guys are going to be nothing but recruit quick kits. You can see their little diamonds on my stream there. <laughs> That's going to be really cool for them. They, they have to be strategical, stay out of sight. They don't want to shoot unless they absolutely have to because they don't even have bandages. They have two magazines. That's it. That is all. They have no Binox. They don't even have a shovel. They can't even dig anything. So it's it's rough. There's going to be a transport to run a bunch of Russians around. You know, they might take take a risk and try diving in and getting the recruits out right away, or they could go slow. Uh, they also get two APC NVSTs, two, two MLTBs, MTLBs. They also get, uh, per squad, they get two ARs, a GL, a LAT, and a Medic. So they do have plenty of firepower. The Russians definitely got a little more firepower compared to the militia who get a scout instead of a grenade launcher. And there's still a lot of chatter going on. Quite a bit, actually, for the Russians. Yeah, the commander on the militias still having a, a briefing with themselves trying to figure out their plan. They're getting very detailed about how they're going to pick apart the uh, the Russian defense. Yep, I've been there before. It's always so much easier to do. It's, it's always way easier to plan than it is to execute. So these guys can sit here all day and plan. And you'll see them do it. It happens every day, every every op. Copy that. All right, what I'll probably do then. Every time I've commanded, uh, the first five minutes, the plan has changed, though, because something exactly. else has happened. <laughs> exactly. I tell that uh, for CCFN, which is a community clan fight night. It's a fun event as well that happens every Sunday. You can watch it streamed as well, um, as its times do not compete with that of squad up so we we, I, we we play in the events with them and we join them and we'd love to if people watch that as well but they uh there's huge communication in that too but everyone always wants to plan and it's like so after we go here and we get this done and we do that and it's like well what's saying we're gonna get that done let's just let's plan the first 10 minutes and go from there and a lot of times that's what actually pays off they get that first 10 or 15 minutes planned, and from there it's going to change because the enemy is going to change too. One of you is going to screw up the other one's plans because it's never going to go perfectly. It appears we are going to have a group briefing on top of a Mercedes down here. Perhaps a chartreuse microbus going to be. Apparently someone wants to use the car instead of the van. I don't know why they're in that track vehicle. There we go. Alright, we're going to hear Kirkley do this briefing shortly. I don't know how long it's going to be. Are they briefing, briefing on your side for militia, expert? At the same time, exactly. It's weird. <laughs> Perfect. All right, everybody in good comms system. Assume it's sexy. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, let's see. So the vehicles are going to be. TV down. Sound good? Sir, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So as you guys know, our objective is to rescue the recon team that we have. We're listening to Kirkley Brief. They've got some very valuable intel on uh, the enemy forces in the area. So essentially the way we're going to do this, Squad 1 will once again be driving the two MTLBs. Uh, they did a pretty good job with last time, so I'm trusting you guys to do just a good job this time. Uh, the one thing I will say to you guys, try and engage at range a little bit more. You know, If you're up on a hill engaging far infantry, infantry targets, that's where you should be. Uh, if at all possible, try not to go into the towns, into buildings or forests, something like that, because that's destroyed by those lats. But other than that, good job. 
So the two MTLBs will be pushing to the southeast right from start. They'll be taking the best route possible to get to squad two. Uh, once you get in squad two's grid square, you guys are actually free to pick them up. And as soon as you have them picked up, uh, you'll receive instructions from myself. I'll be determining which route will be the best to return, either on the east side of the river or the west side of the river. Uh, squad, let's see, squad three will be mounted up in the MTLBs. Uh, just make sure that we leave four slots open in one of them so that all of those guys can fit in. Uh, so squad three is the infantry support for the MTLBs. Squad four will be mounted up in the transport I will be driving. The transport truck off live will be moving to the objective location. One fire team will be in the objective proper. The other will be somewhere around Foxtrot 3, keypad 2-ish, somewhere around there. But uh, your squad lead will get you positioned exactly. Uh, the MTLBs, once they have picked up the infantry, if we are on the west side of the river, so that's our side of the river right now, we'll essentially be moving up the MSR that we took the last round. However, we'll be avoiding the road right next to the river on that sniper mark. So we'll hopefully be using the uh, the road right next to Bunker, or perhaps the one in the C column, uh, way over there. Uh, whichever way we take it, once we get to the location where we plan to stage our ambush, one of the MTLBs will be pushing to that northern road in uh, the two line up there. Uh, once that MTLB is positioned, infantry will dismount. The infantry with the southern one, so on that sniper mark in Echo 3, will be in the forest on that new sniper mark on the right side. Uh, and then with this MTLB up there, the infantry will be up in the hills. And then we will converge on the defense point proper, making sure that we don't clear or that we don't take any contact in there. If the fire teams in the actual objective have not taken contact, we'll go ahead and just push up and uh, defend the objective proper. If we have to take the east side of the river, we'll be crossing the bridge up in Hotel 2, located on that friendly fob marker. Once we cross that, infantry will dismount. The MTLBs will try and get as much space between them as possible while still maintaining clear lines of fire to support each other. And the infantry and the MTLBs will move up along the road uh, to assault into the location. But once again, if the location is still secure, we still have that uh, fire team up in there. They haven't taken contact. We'll just push on it. The Fire team will be around that friendly farm mark that I will be dropping off. You guys are essentially our reserve slash quick reaction force. Uh, if we have to go on the defensive Word and they're assaulting the militia us, is your ready. goal is going to be to flank around behind them, cause as much confusion as possible. I want you guys firing and relocating as much as possible. You know, don't get pinned down in a single shot. Uh, so you know, fire a couple shots and then move. Uh, it's going to be on you guys to kind of draw them off, uh, keep the pressure off the actual objective. If we end up having to assault in, uh, essentially you're just one more direction we're assaulting from. You know, we've got the contacts coming, or we've got friendlies coming from the southeast, and we get or southwest, and friendlies coming from the west, coming in from the east. So it'll be kind of a three-pronged attack. All right, everybody, understand what their role is in all this. If you have any questions at all? All right, that's what I like right, to hear. So is, or, sorry, Kirkley is given a killer we'll get a lifetime set here shortly. briefing. We're going to see how they go. They're breaking away. We're going to run through our route real quick. Uh, the optimal route, I think, in terms They're going to jump speed, in those MTLBs in the transport. That's about it. It's going to be very simple. We push in the meantime, their forces are actually in the northwestern corner of Foxtrot 7, keypad 7. Or they're, that's where they're at, their recruit team. And who is that? That's Nasty Nate leading the show. We're live at 136. That's a minute and 15 seconds, minute and 10 seconds. And our commands tonight are, are Kirkley and Creeping. So Kirkley Rush, is commanding so the militia forces, creeping, commanding the Russians. Flip that around. Flip that around. Kirkley is commanding Russia. Creeping is uh, commanding militia. As for squad leads, Best Pony, Ben Bot, Nasty Nate, and Truth Realm are running it for Kirkley. Who are the squad leads on militia? Mr. Got Hutch. Well, we got Hutch, Lish, Krusty, and Dr. Kamikaze. Uh, very experienced crew as far as squad leading and commanding. So it's, it's a lot of communication over here and detailed planning going on. 
advantage. Yeah, and they did a good job of picking apart the militia forces in the first round. Let's see how they do on the militia side this time. I think this will be a really good one. It, it always seems like it's advantage militia, but Russia wins. So it's going to be really interesting. I'd just like to see how they start and how they pan out. And we are live. We are live as heck. There. Let everybody know. The first thing I see is the Russians spread out. Once I find a green, I'll go up. And it's something that never gets talked about. I guess we haven't talked about it much at all, but the positioning of the recruit team. In this one, they're in Foxtrot 7, keypad 7. But they're not going to move. They're not going to move much at all. They're going to wait. The vehicles are going to come to them. They move much faster. They can get in there, get them loaded up, and get out. Well, that'll be interesting. The militia are pushing up to the south to the train bridge, so maybe they'll get eyes on them real quick, unless they're in good concealment. Yeah, that'll be interesting. I'm also interested to see if the militia is going to stay, or I'm sorry, if the Russians are going to stay together, if they're going to spread out. Because Kirkley kept the militia really grouped together last time. And I can already see that he's spreading out. He's got the, the transport taking at least one full squad. Far, far to the east. Oh, Looks like they're going to go up and cover the north bridge, and the two MTLBs are going to cover the other two bridges. <laughs> I was like, where the fuck are you going? I was trying to tell you to do vehicle training. Jesus, I did. What do you, what are the militia doing? Where are they had sending their guys at, Exit? Well, they sent a squad with uh, two techies. Uh, they're going to go t check out the. Uh, the location where the recruits may be. Uh, they're just pulling up on the train bridge now. Uh, the other two squad, uh, the MTLBs, are heading north, and it looks like they're going to go far north again. So. I actually hear Nasty Nate talking about seeing enemies. That that would be the techie driving right by them. And for the most part, they're telling them to not engage at all. Just stay alive. That's what matters the most right now for these guys. They don't have the means to fight back. Hey, we're going to go check out South Novo. Hop in, hop in, hop in. What? And it's not so much that they can't sling some lead, but if they get hit, they're done. There's no one near them. They can't be bandaged. They don't have bandages. In. What the hell's South Novo? But the MTLBs are coming, and they are both full. Well, not full, but they're packing, you know, six to nine guys each. And the only reason there's less than the other one's not full is they need room for four guys to jump in and get out of there with them. You're good, you're good. So they're going to head right down the tracks, it looks like. Yep, it is. Straight down the railroad tracks. Let's go check out the four. We're gonna check out the yeah, check out the four guys here. They're actually quite spread apart from one another. It's really rare. They're gonna come up right on this technical, which is an SPG. Yep. It's, it's right gonna there. get dirty. It's gonna get dirty. Here we go. I'm gonna get back on the MTLBs and follow them. Here we go. They are in it. They see it. There's a shot. Oh, he oh. missed. He hit him. No, he hit him. They, they haven't taken out anybody. They, they bailed, though. Let's see what they do. Command, you're on this We've taken oh. one shot. They've reported taking one shot. Everybody's still moving. They're telling them to push. Push and engage. Push and engage. 
Look at that. Who's in the front? I gotta get my numbers up here. What's going on, nine? There we go, right there. All right, best pony's pushing in. He's throwing nades. Fearless. He's he's calling out that they're there. That SPG is right next Sirloin to the recruits. Bandaging. Sirloin's actually bandaging. Best pony's right on him. Does he see him? He sees him. He takes him out. Silverman's right there close. Oh, best pony and Silverman about to engage each other. Here comes one tap man. Oh, the nade's tossed over. Oh, right at best pony. Oh, bye, buddies. Oh, double kill. Great nade by Silverman. That was beautiful. Wow. Just, they, they bailed, but it was just a beautiful nade. All around. Jay Remick drops. Oh, yep, they get him. Schmitty and Jay Remick drop. Silverman and actually Jay Remick Spanish. So is Smitty. They both took shots. What an engagement right no, there. That was beautiful. No, what a catch. We got lucky to just to catch all that action. Shit, our squad leads down. Glad we could share that with you. Yeah, pony is. We got more though. We got more Alpaca B. Oh, this is oh nasty Nate's down. We got we're down to two recruits. They've been spotted. There's actually Krusty the Sailors there and uh B advisor scouts are taking contacts. Oh ho ho. ho. Capture those scout and secure them. Secure those scouts. Oh Krusty's on the SPG nine. He's gonna get him some. Almost. <laughs> the MTLB is on fire. He almost had it. The MTLB is on fire. Google Treks and really Bunny are both in it. Bunny is in another one. They switch seats though. Bunny's driving. Google Treks shoot. Oh, SPG it goes down. Oh, of course oh. Down. it's gonna blow up too. Shadow. Two FJG Shadow. JG is in. Oh, he takes a shot. He takes a shot. Roger. Somebody flicked Whatever Merrick. I don't know where Merrick got hit from. The bridge or, oh, way up on the hill. Oh, total Providence goes down. Merrick goes down. Oh, it's just crazy in here right now. And all of the Schmitty's down. Militia's down in here. The, the Militia's down in here. Let's take a look here. Let's see what we got going on. All right. Seven deaths for militia, seven deaths for Russia. So we're we're close. Got ourselves a match going on. What's going on here? Okay, so what we saw was the SPG is down. That the Dishkateki is still up. I mean, that could prove to be useful. It's not worth going for right now. Pugachev and Pugachev and Han. They're dancing. Yep. Looks like Han knows he's there. Pugachev has no idea. Roger, see you. Good work. Uh, I don't think Han knows he's there, actually. Han's just staying alive. Pugachev is... Where'd Pugachev go? He's sneaky. Ran away. We're gonna be staying on the yeah, I think they're moving out. They don't have anything uh, to fight off these NTLBs with. Yeah, I got a lot of Russians where I'm at, but I don't have any. Oh, they got them. Looks like they got a couple of their counter intel. They got Masonic Holmes, and that's it. Masonic Holmes is the last one. <laughs> Everyone else is dead. So we got to make sure we stick around Masonic Holmes, and they got him on the x -field. He's on the way out. Where's the rest of the militia forces? What have they done? They're Are they up moved to the up. yet? No, they've moved up north. They are just sitting north of the industrial complex up there. Okay, so they might actually get to the exfil. Three, what's your strength? And and the I think the only thing that perhaps getting to the exfil is going to do is just force the militia to push harder. And you can see all the Russians are falling back. They're ditching a few guys down there, but hey, they got their exfil unit. They're saving Private Ryan, saving Private uh, Masonic Holmes. You know, I don't see a lot of your team, Exfil. Where, where are they all located at? There's two squads north of the industrial complex. Uh, sounds like they're going to move into it, okay, clear so it out. Two whole squads up there. That's going to. Plus the two NTLBs. 
Yeah, that's going to help a lot. It's really going to help a lot. Let's go. I'm like full sprinting towards it. No, I'm not getting killed, so. Yeah, they were on that hill to the 200. I got AFK. Someone's coming to grab some beers. Looks like one had the same idea as last round. They just come from the north and clear it out. Okay, we got this happen. Yeah, Kirk is expecting contact from the north. He hasn't. He just bet, said to expect an MTLB, but I think he knows there's more than that. Sounds like they are going to retrieve that uh, techie that was left behind. That's not a bad idea. If it's not blown up, good for them. That's actually a good idea, I think. It, it was a good job by them to take out the SPG. Uh, they t did take a rocket from it, so that hurts big time. But they have their own rockets and GLs they can launch. The silos are looking. Like what the fuck? Yeah, that was shitty. Yeah, dude. There was dudes on that. Yeah, these silos. Yeah, these this, this industrial complex is becoming a very popular location. Yeah, too. Do you see deadly seals of the northeast? There, it's such a beautiful place to fight. It's awesome area. And good communication. I just like the communication. Deadly Seal's taking shots. He walked up right on... Let me see if I can get in there. Yep. That's Sensei Mike and Server 4. Oh, yeah. TLB. Track vehicle took him down. Oh, he's alive still. He's still alive. They're running him over. Oh, they flattened him. Is he going to live? He's alive still. He's dead now. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Nice try, Deadly Seal. That's what he gets, so he's in the middle of the wide open trying to take on a... Beautiful. I got an APC to my front. APC to my front. All right, they've got the full contact north. Uh, we can look to see some... I mean, they're going to be fighting over x here shortly, I think. Flatten, yeah, says Wook. Yeah, he was. Once again, prepare for a coming from your south. Just flew up this road that I'm on right here. Got it. Right. I've got comps. Yeah, they're in and they're covered. It sounds like Hutch has got the eyes on the, uh, the Russian MTLB of the road here. It's choosing yeah, not to engage events, It looks like Google Trex is shooting it at server error 404 and Sex Sensei Mike. So that's good. Chasing off that MTLB. I don't know how much they hit him, but it was enough to scare him off. I want them to move to the Oh, there he goes. Hutch is engaging the uh, MTLB now. Oh, here we go. Looks like good shots. Good shots coming from Hutch. OG Tap and Fulcrum are trying to push in. Oh, here we go. There it is. Oh, heavy fire. Great shoot by OG Tap. Who's going to go first? Oh, Hutch had the position and got him first. I think it was Hutch's initial shots that got him. And then when they came to peak, they, there was already enough damage done that they just had to get the last hits on. Yeah, that APC. It's from the north. Have... Here they come, server 404. Oh, we're going to see another fight. Oh, no, they got to reload. No, they don't. Oh, they got him. Beautiful. Beautiful by Bunny. That's beautiful. That's Bunny on the gunny. That was a that was great. That was a good little view we caught right there. It just blew them right up. So now both track vehicles are injured, and in a surprise turn, one for one. I think there's another technical, isn't there? No, no, they have to go retrieve it. So good shape, good shape for the Russians right Sounds now. Good.
They they own the Xville. Oh, They've got the guy the in the Xville, Masonic Holmes. They, he's been to the Xville. I don't know if they're going to try and force Militia to come and make a move because they've made it, you know, to the Xville and it should kind of become their advantage. They definitely don't have to go anywhere. That's that's for sure now. All right, MTLB, and they might be waiting for it. I believe we have taken an AT round. Yeah, we were on fire every, momentarily. Every now and then you might see that the militia reach Xville. Or, I'm sorry, Russia reached Xville and militia um, push. Likely silo. Yeah. Yeah, silo. Yep, yeah, pinging us, they're pinging. I would just play defensively. I wouldn't push. It's gonna be really cool to see how the the yeah, use the MTLBs goes now. Take out an MTLB if we wanna go for that at some point. But I'm not gonna. Gotta say, good job to Hutch. I I, I didn't think he was gonna take out the tap and those guys when they came over, but he had already done enough damage. That's really good. Yeah, it looks like CG Foo's taking shots at that apartment building across from the Xville. Jay Remick and uh, Big Jimmy are pulling off, though. They're not taking much of that. Yeah, that's something I haven't... I'm not sure what kind of piercing guns get, like rifles and stuff get. I'm sure, I'm 100% sure that any emplacements and stuff can pierce. Excuse me. I know they can go right through the buildings, but... I don't know if, you know, maybe like a weak AK can do it or if the PPSH can do it. I don't know. Or I don't even know if an AK or an M4 can do it. So we'll see. Maybe we'll get a chance to see it. Looks like Militia's pushing up their MTLB to the west on that hill that overlooks the X hill. They are. And Buddy's actually looking that way. He's got his gun looking directly that way. And it's called. They just called it out. Someone just called it out. I didn't see who. Kirkley is still alive for Russia. He's their command. Do militia still have their command? I'm not aware. My lat in squad is one last seat round. Google tracks. Nope. Command has gone down. Tracks, this building's got a second story. E2 keypad 2. Bottles. Okay, now it sounds like Kirkley just went down. Cop. I see what you're doing. Yeah, I'll, I'll come over. Okay. Oh, no, he well, didn't. He's, he's looks not like he had a decent shot. Well, even with command down, you know, the. The command and control in squad ops is pretty decent, so it's good communication all the time. Yeah, it's nice to be able to hear it on the squad leader level. I do see infantry crest. Militia's got a good spread there. It gets pretty spread out. You see a vision cresting north? Oh, Hitchens is not saloon. screwing around. Yeah, Hitchens is in saloon. Just found out that MTLB can see him. Anybody see my tracers there? Two nine zero. In the meantime, the rest of their team is pushing north. They're almost to the railroad tracks. They're going to make a dash across there, possibly. That's about it. They got Pugachev, Mighty, and Puppy Skills in the southeast. Yep, they still have that that Dishka Techie behind them there. They could use us. Copy that. Those are their orders. Looks like Merrick, Hutch, and Kilmore all get in position. Is that friendly or Hutch and Kilmore. And, and they're hitting him. Enemy. That's enemy. Bunny's going to need to move that thing. He's yeah, taking shots. Yeah, shooting at the wrong window that I'm in. They're shooting the one next That's fine. That's fine. But Let maybe by not the moving, he's doing good thing. I'm going to see if I can get a better angle. edge of my binoculars. I can't get a... I can only see the edge of the back of the vehicle. Yeah, behind the gas station. Shooting a little bit up towards to Saloon and Hitchens again. <laughs> Yep, they're saying that whoever's on that is very accurate. <laughs> we lost comms. Copy. Eyes on MTLB. Buddy's uh, looking to the south. south. 
Is that south? Yep, it's south. It's, uh, it's moving south, definitely. Yep, it probably hears that other MTLB moving in. I'm reloading. Oh, he, I can hear him in local. Yep, he's he's calling it out. He can't see it, though. Nobody's driving for Bunny, though. And Hutch knows it. Hutch is using those shacks to cover himself. MTLB is south. Uh, yeah, they're talking. They're trying to figure out where exactly it's located. They ha haven't yeah. been able to see Bunny yet. Meanwhile, the rest of the militia forces just keep uh, creeping closer and closer. <laughs> yeah, they're waiting. Gosh, they get too close and one grenade will kill them all. The bunny's still taking shots to the west. It's moving. Hitchens in saloon. Allow him to kill more oh, than there Oh, go. there he goes. He's on him. They're blown up. Great shooting by Bunny. Good vision. He saw him. He's shooting at Hutch. Saloon oh, takes him out with the rocket. Great rocket by Saloon. That was great. Excellent work. He jumped up, got him at the right time. So we're even. There's no vehicles left. And here they come. Lish is leading the way. Militia is going to storm them. He's smoking it up and getting in close. Was Musket in the building? Yeah, Musket's in the building. He's on the top floor. He's not going to see anybody. Jay Ramek and Big Jimmy will. Jay Ramek over his shoulder. He's Oh, he's getting shot at. Don't know who hit him. Fuck. Yeah, fucking shit hurt. I got hit again. I'm going for it. I'm going for it to get healed. Well, Jay Ramek got hit. He's going to get healed. Oh, they are getting lit up. I wouldn't leave. I gotta shoot smoke out. I wouldn't recommend it, man. Yeah, we've seen one so far inside the compound. We are behind the compound. They are fully aware of Big Jimmy and Jay Remick's position. Yep, let's just lay down. Sonic Holmes ran across. He's the recruit. He's still alive somehow. I don't know how he ran across that road. Lish just barely missed him. And Musket doesn't know where to go. He's looking at his friendlies because he doesn't know where to look to. Lish is around the corner. He's got an entire squad to his west. Musket can hear him. Enemies to his south. He's going to run up on CG Fu. Nope, he's not. Faku's right there. He's. Play it good. Right, he's got position on the wall. Oh, him and Faku are just right across from each other. They're right there. Here it comes. Oh! Faku panic. Muskets right there. What's going to happen? Musket didn't even see him. What is Musket doing? Musket goes down. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's like it's like Faku dodged him or something. He didn't even see him. In the meantime, Masonic Holmes has gone down. He was the last recruit soldier. We're down to Big Jimmy, Truth Realm, Mind Steel, Silas, and Han. That's it. Google Trex is trying to. Hit those guys getting on the building there, but now they see them returning fire. You might get to see the first militia win tonight, right here, Expit. At that least on numbers, this variation. Yeah, the numbers are kind of going <laughs> their way. Wook, Wook MT drops a big LOL in the chat. Yeah, I was laughing pretty hard at that too. I can't believe that he ran right by him right there. That was pretty funny. I bet you that uh, I bet you that alpaca is just sitting up there scared. So. And keeping their attention this way. Well, we got Mind Steel, Silas, and Truth Realm by, them, by themselves in this northwestern apartment. 
the meantime, Big Jimmy like is all by here. himself. No one's even at the exfil anymore for Russia. Somehow, Big Jimmy's lived in here. He's dodging bullets. He's just One bobbing and weaving. He must be parkouring the hell out of everything. Oh, how he's doing that, uh, it, Matrix. And... Look, he's peeking windows, too. He's not done. He wants to kill. He's getting vengeance. Watch all his buddies die. Oh, Han's in the south. I totally forgot about Han. Yep, Mighty and Pukachev. And oh my gosh, Google skills. tricks. And Kirkley, what is Kirkley doing down in the South 40? What's he doing? He's a command. He's still alive. We, did, we only have four. It's getting crazy. Oh, 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 GL. oh, God dang. Pretty sure that one, he like caught that one in the throat. He is done. There's no getting up from that. That was a beautiful explosion right in front yeah. of him. Puppy now skills Kirkley is really nice. isolated. Nice job, puppy skills. Yeah, if that was him. He, he just saw us. Put, put it left of the building by like the shed. By the shed to the left of the building. No, 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 no. Puppy no, skills no. lobbing yeah, grenades at the little house. Left doing the good. Left of the yeah, they're calling him out. They're trying to get it right on Han. Yeah, oh, just long. You know what? I'm surprised right now. I don't see anyone shooting through fences. You know, he's throwing a nade through there. He might as well shoot some bullets, right? Oh, you could pierce that. Those bullets will go right through there. And in the meantime, Han is crawling around. He's, he might get a sneak going. I think it's going to... We're going to hold this hill. I think it's going to take a minute for everyone to we just, we just get hold this hill area right here. used to shooting through fences. Han's now inside the shed in the fence. Compound. In the meantime, we got Mighty Puppy Skills and Pugachev on the, the southeast. Yeah, Kirkley's crawling up to them slowly. <laughs> Kirkley's the command. Kirkley's still alive as command. That's pretty good. Is Creeping alive? Or did creep, Creeping's a, a lead by example guy, so he's probably dead. I know how that goes. That's how I do it. Okay, you're cleared out, I think, in that Oh, in the Han's pushing. Clear. Han's sneaking around the corner. He's wrapping the fence, wrapping the fence to our 40. To our 40 well, Han to peaked on Pugachev and Mighty, but I don't think he saw either one of them. Um, Puga, you can wrap, push to my right around the hill, to our right, and kill him. Yeah. Puga Jeb's flanking around. Four, I'm here. Oh, sorry, sorry, uh, wrong Squad one. Sorry. Still good to do. How's everybody doing today? Taking contact? Really, you're calling it? Really bad. <laughs> I got confidence you guys. Do you have the out. three Russians or to the north? I think is Big Jimmy still alive? Yeah, Big Jimmy's still up. No negative, Big Jimmy's dead. There is like seven Russians still alive in the industrial complex, and they're starting to move in. Holy cow, where'd they come from in the north there? How the hell? I, I, don't have, I don't pay enough attention. The maps are too big. I can't keep track of everybody. There's a lot of action going on for sure. Yeah, we've got a full... Now the Russians are in the northwest. Could, like, have gotten... All right, Kirkley, Kirkley is now coming up on Mighty and Puppy Skills. He's coming up from their south. They know Han's there. Pugachev has moved to flank. And they're all looking right where Han is at. Let's see if, let's see if Kirkley, the commander, can get up in there and do some damage. Three, where are they? My Alpha Fire team is moving in to support you now, but they have no intel to work on. Uh, be advised, they are in. I'm on Kirkley Commander. Yeah, Papa Pole Cat, Kirkley's going ninja. I wonder if he heard him run away because they just took off. Kirkley, we have enemies between you and my position. Alright, I'm pushing. There's possibly one dude in here. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna push around the north end. Roger. All right. Uh, All right. Between Han and Kirkley, they duck. Oh, let's see. Puga drops Han. Puga takes Han down. Didn't even see him coming. Yeah, the militia is aware now. Of these this Russian element to the north. They're yeah. Fire on the building now. And 
these poor three guys, uh, Big Jimmy, oh, Big Jimmy's dead. I'm sorry, Truth Realm, Silas, and Mindsteel, all in the same building. They haven't moved. They've done nothing to support their team for the last minute. Hopefully, they can get out there and help. They might have been told to hold position, though. You never know. In the meantime, Kirkley's trying to push up. He's lost his eyes in the inside, Han. Now he's got Pugachev, Mighty, and Puppy Skills to deal with, and Pugachev just wiped the floor with Han. Han reported good information, though. All of his calls were accurate. Looks like Forge mostly went down. Roger. Three, how the heck are you guys doing? Mighty's coming back. Talk Kirkley to is going to see him or no? No, Kirkley won't. Uh, Kirkley will. Kirkley's going to see him. He can't shoot him, though. Oh, he doesn't see him. They're all falling back. Kirkley hears him. He just doesn't see him. Oh, Puppy Skills is going to walk right on Kirkley. He's dead. Kirkley's dead. Oh what God. the fuck? What the fuck? Poor Kirkley. Silas and Mindsteel are alive. They lost Truth Realm to Faku. Faku was pushing over there. Ben Bach goes down to the north and west. Now we've got Shelbs, the Neils, El Sabrowski, and Cursed in the northwest. This is a very frequently traveled area right here. This, this view of this refinery. I don't even know what to call it. The Silos compound, we can call that. And beyond that, there's two more to the far northwest. Yeah, I just kind of noticed that. They're way up there. Hips and Nips that? and Odessa. God dang, they're just up in the north 40 up there. Is that red brick building the one north? They're running the flank north. hard. Thing is, there's... Yeah, copy. Hopefully, they'll all wait together because there's nothing... There's nothing to stop them. There's no more vehicles. Everyone's about expended on grenades and stuff like that, so... Well, the it, tables have turned now. The it's basically defending. the U.S. Or the the Russians are, or I'm sorry, the militia are going to defend right now, and when it after a minute, you're going to see somebody possibly Hutch himself, the creator, say Russia has this long to recapture the exfil or something like that, That's which will important. encourage them to push in a little bit, just because nobody wants to sit here waiting until. Yeah, all the recruits are dead. There's no more recruits. Here come the Russians from the northwest. Retake of the position. I still got my lat. One Russian guy does still have a lat. I just hear reports of. It's. I mean, it's good for suppression. Perhaps shooting through a window, he could kill two or three, maybe Sorry, in the right uh, circumstances. But can you it's not too important now. Maybe retake the, retake our old position if we attack in a group. Roger, run our way. Rush is slowly pushing. They're going to slowly push up from this northwest side. There's not much else they can do. They know where they got to go. Pretty much everything we see is militia. Cursed. My angle, that's it. Except for, I believe, Silas and Mindsteel in the compound. That's it. Yep, just them two just, guys. They're just sitting there waiting. And they have to. They, they can't do anything else. They have to wait for friendlies. They can't push. Though They're so close together, though. Look. One grenade is killing five right now. Six. They're all dead with one name. That's something that I've been uh, 
basically trying to push in squad ops is a little bit better battle spacing just because of grenades rockets stuff like that and it's it's easy it, i know why people do it because look they want to hear each other talk but look at me i'll come right here i'm over here a grenade could go off by them i'd be okay i can hear him talking So it's okay. It's easy to rally information. And actually, they are they are briefing themselves or they're recoordinating and stuff like that. So it makes sense that they're grouped together. They feel comfortable. It just feels like the enemies are close because we know they're right there. And they know they're right there too, I suppose. Where else are they going to be? I've jumped back over to Mindsteel and Silas. And they're just sitting here. They're waiting for the rest of the Russians from the west side. Oh, there's noise. These guys are unspotted still. I'm not sure where the shooting's coming from or going to. Little village, a lot of cover. We can maybe get to that possibly. Yeah, that's that not sure either. I don't know if anybody can have eyes on them over there. Yeah, I I don't know if it was. That could have been just a false shot, false sighting. I hear a lot of local chat for the rest of these Russians over here, so that's that's good to hear. They're pretty outnumbered. They don't know it though, and they're doing their best to win. Uh, most likely they... yeah, it seems like the militia's just firing at windows, hoping to that somebody will return fire. Should I try and get around in there? Oh no, they're at, they're talking about getting rounds in there. Get closer. They don't know that they're there. I was about to say this is where someone throws a smoke grenade, but I don't think they have any left. So that's probably going to work out to their advantage. Yeah, it looks like the militia is now clearing it building by building over here in their apartment complex. If you see them going for those other two, let us know. We, we'll get the shot on that. We'll get you. We'll switch to you and get the footage. I believe that contract is clear. I want to follow this. Two, four, six. Yeah, first room clear. Six of the last eight the the back. Russians. The back. Don't push up in the front. It's really beautiful that they're all prone. Slowly sneaking. And I can still hear them talking in local. I don't know what they're saying. Well, Nero does. It looks like he's pushing across the railroad tracks right towards them. Oh, he just goes oh, down. Oh, that was uh, that was Odessa or El Sabrowski just dropped him. Contact west, 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 west. Can of corn style, just down he went, boom. Oh, Odessa sees him on on the top floor, lighting him up, getting dirty. El Sabrowski doing the same thing; they're lighting him up, providing suppression while everyone's moving in. Calling shots, calling contacts, reloading by Elsa Brout. Yeah, there there goes the smokes. Mighty Pugachev and Puppy Skills, the three man fire team. They've been running around all over the place. Getting away with whatever they want wherever. They're doing good they're doing good work over there. Staying out of sight. I'll, uh, I'll sacrifice myself. I don't think they're right outside. They're keeping they moving. Pushing through the smoke. The Russians are. they got to get that exfil. Oh, barely overshot. What a great rocket. It's like Shelbs is going to shoot one back. It looked like it was saloon number 12 trying to shoot at him. 
Shelb's gonna shoot. Oh, Elsa Browski goes down. Someone dropped. Oh, Dessa goes down. Anybody up? Yeah. Let's go up. Mine still goes down. I think we just lost our guy Silas too. Is Silas up? Silas is up. Silas and Jenga going at it. Silas just realized that he lost his brother in arms. And Jenga drops him with the SKS. Great shot by Jenga Master. Over on the other side, it's not going well for the Russians either. They just lost Chilbs. Off to the west, they're going down as well. Big Jimmy is down. He's been down. We got hips and nips and cursed. That's it. That's it for the Russians. And they are not in a very favorable position. You know, we got to throw shout outs so to Kirkley and Creeping for being the squad or the commanders tonight. They did a great job. What a good match. Here we go. Curse looking north. Reddit. CG Foo. CG Foo goes down. Curse drops him. Didn't even see him. Great job by Cursed. I got my eyes on that hill though. Right behind that big rock that's sticking up. Oh, I see him right and Hips and Nip sees him to the west, so we might see him. Yep. Uh, taking them shots. Drops. Oh. Down goes one. That's Puppy Skills. He's Puppy down. Skills, yeah. There's, another one, There's two more up here, and they're talking right now about where they're at. Um, it's Pugachev and Mighty still up there. I think he's in the green building. And Curse goes down. No, Curse is up. Curse is still up. So. Yeah, that's what it looks like he's looking Still at. Still some work to be done. Yeah, so Kirkley and Creeping, great job commanding. Look at this. We are still in an intense battle. Got to throw a shout out to their uh, squad leaders as well. The guys, middlemen, basically, yeah. making, get it done. They're doing the work. You know, Best Pony, Ben Bot, Nasty Nate, Truth Realm, Hutch, Lish, Krusty the Sailor, and Dr. Kamikaze. All making it happen. None of this is possible without all those guys. And you guys, all you viewers are getting different views tonight, not just myself or XBit. You know, we're just the boring camera fly flying around. You want to see the per first person kills and the explosions. So we got guys doing that too. We got Jay Remick, Lish, Mighty, Bunny, Merrick, 362, Schmitty, the Neils. Heck, there could be more. There's people coming and going all night. We want as many people giving as many points of view as we can. Yeah, copy. And it's a great time when those guys yeah, can copy. help. I mean, even on a slow night, we got six different cameras, seven different cameras flying around. So that's always nice. We're going to give a shout out to Hammering Hutch, the creator of this operation, which is Operation Fishhook here on Gorodok, a beautiful map created by a wonderful development team in OWI. So we're still on hips and nips and curse. They're the last two for the Russians. They are literally surrounded. The only, the only thing that they don't have is anybody to the south, and that's the only way they don't need to go. But right now, the militia know that they've got the advantage. They're just being patient. That's about all they can do. You know, there's a guy, though. There's this one guy. He switches between the cameras for everybody, and he gives you the good views and lets us know where the good stuff's happening so we can go help out. And his name's Pen. Yeah, it looks like Chris is at... He's healing hits and nips. Yeah, you're correct. Oh, man. It's so, it's so hard. Yeah, hips, hips and nips and curves. It's like Hips and Nips sees Pugachev, yeah. Got the first shots off on him even while. Puga just hit the deck. He's staying calm. Haven't seen him move yet. Hips and Nips either. They're both calm. If there's anybody who's watching who's interested in joining, 
definitely check us out at squadops.gg. Get the link to our Discord. Join the Discord. It's totally free. And there are so many people in there that are willing to answer questions and help. And we're trying to down our number of at messages to everybody. It's getting out of control. So we're definitely trying to do that and stop spamming people. Yeah, but you could be in an operation in no time. Just one basic SOTT session. We do impromptu sessions all the time too, which helps even more. Did we just hear someone go down? I think we just lost Cursed. Oh, we did. He's down. Hips and nips, all by his onesies. Who's it going to be? Mori eats kids. Drops him. That's going to be a good game. Great job by Militia. That's the first time Militia won today. Took four rounds. <laughs> they figured it out. Right, that has to be it. There we go. Oh, Great nice. fucking job. Let's Drop go. GG in the chat for everybody. All right. Once again, let's go over these big thank yous, especially like Hammering Hutch for making this operation. What a good operation. Lots of entertainment, lots of fun. Great for the people watching. Great for the people involved. That's the big one, the people playing. We want everyone to have a good time, especially playing. We want... We want the people watching to have a good time and get interested in it. We want you to come and be a part of it. We want, we want the service to be full. We want to make another one so that we can do two a night. What else? Big shout out to XBit. Thanks for coming, man. Look forward to seeing you squad lead in the future too as well. As well as command because you've been starting to command a little bit too. So, yeah. Get your butt in there. Do a little commanding. It's always fun. Always fun to command or squad lead or just be a fire team leader. Heck, just being in the squad. Getting out there. It is. The it's so much fun. It really is. It's such a good time. The the teamwork, the communication, the camaraderie, everything involved with it is just so good. Makes for such a great time. Uh, you, you know what? It's, it's getting kind of late. These always tend to go a little longer than we want. It's two and a half hours since we started, so we're gonna let you guys go. This was Operation Fish Hook. My name is the Muff Bandit. I was here with the Xbit. Um, we are on Gordock tonight. It's March 25th. Uh, big shout out to our commanders, Kirkley and Creeping. They did a great job. Shout out to Penn, being the best cameraman in the world. Uh, SquadOps.gg. Check us out. Join the Discord. Do some basic SOTT. Get your butts in here. We'd love to have you. And with that, I would love to see you guys later. Have a good night. Good Say night, goodbye, everybody. <laughs>